Yep, here we go. It's another great day and I can't wait to get out there on the water. Some fresh water. I haven't done that kind of fishing in a long time. It'd be fun to try some of the techniques that I've learned in the last year. And who knows, maybe some old techniques will come back to me from when I was a kid and we used to go lake fishing a little bit. I haven't caught a fish in fresh water in decades. So I'm really excited to try it out again. All right, here we are on beautiful Lower Otai Lake and we are getting ready to do some bass fishing, some freshwater fishing. Should be a really good time. And I am excited. Look at that beautiful view. Look at that sunrise. Oh, gorgeous. All right, so check this out. We got like a little, little house or something over here. It's pretty interesting. All right, well, we've tried a whole bunch of different lures and different baits and I'm seeing the fish, but I haven't been able to catch anything yet. But it's still early. A couple of guys have gotten a bass, so they're in here. We know that. So anyways, I've heard that a lot of the techniques that we use down in San Diego Bay and Mission Bay were perfected out here on the lake. And we just happen to be able to use them. So I'm trying all the techniques that I know. We're going to see if they work here in the lake. Yeah, look at this. I'm already at 43 feet in the, the edges right there. Look at that. 43 feet. 40, 50 feet. 52 feet. 57, 62 feet, 65 feet, 70 feet. I don't even think it gets to 70 feet in San Diego Bay. It's a beautiful morning and I'm wanting to catch a fish. Oh, look, there's a fish. Anyways, I'm seeing those fish. I'm seeing these huge bass, but nothing wants to eat my bait. What is up with that? It's not cool fish. Well, it's starting to heat up. I look down and I see a whole bunch of fish. This lake fishing is just not working out for me, man. I'm not complaining. I just would like to catch a fish while I'm fishing. <laughs> I don't just want to practice casting. This is what I've caught so far. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Switch to the robo worm from my new buddy Chris and look at that fish. I am loving it. That is a big fish right there. And I gotta tell you, look at the pounds right there 2.48 and you. Let's get you back in the water, boy. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Look at that boy. Woo. All right. You good? You good? Okay, here we go. Bye. Go for it. Swim away. <laughs> all right, so all of a sudden, the bite is picking up. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Look at that. Very nice, very nice. Thanks for letting me catch you. Here we go. What I'm catching these uh, these largemouth bass on is the robo worm, and I put it as a drop shot. So special thanks to Chris uh, who was out here. He uh, actually gave me this uh, this robo worm, and because before that, I mean, you saw I tried everything and I wasn't getting a darn thing. But then Chris was kind enough to give me this robo worm. I put it on a drop shot and. I'm on two uh, pretty good size, well, good size for what I would have expected, uh, largemouth bass. And so let's see if we can get a third, that'd be awesome. And if we don't, that's okay. I'm considering today a success, but if we can get a third one, that would be awesome. So Otai Lake, lower Otai Lake, very good. Thank you. All right.
right, so one thing about lake fishing that's actually really cool is they have floating barges that are actually bathrooms. So, I mean, I'm not gonna show you the toilet, but you know, you go inside and there you go. There's your own private stall. You're right on the water. You can put your kayak on the side, your boat on the side. It's perfect. I mean, how rad is that? That's awesome. Thank you very much. The SS Relief. This is just the best. It really is literally the best and it made my day. Such a great idea to have that. Such a great idea. I had a really good time today. You know, fishing the lake is a lot different than fishing the bay, but I will tell you, it's a good time, but it is different. And while the techniques are kind of the same, they're kind of not. I feel like I was able to learn a lot and I feel like I was able to use the skills that I have learned to help myself catch some fish. And I think that the next time I go out to a lake, I think that I will be more prepared because I kind of got a better idea of what I'm gonna need next time. So with that said, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you're going out fishing. If you fish in San Diego, I hope that you check out all the lakes. I hope you check out all the bays. You have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.